Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus Mission video. Today we're going to be talking about the mission Loose Ends Extermination, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Now before you drop into the mission itself, we highly, highly recommend that you bring in plenty of gear to do farming, grinding, whatever you want to call it. This means possibly bringing in multiple furnaces or plenty of extra tools. Otherwise, of course, you don't have to bring these. This is an Icarus mission and you don't need exotics to finish it. This is just to make your life a little bit easier. Now, once you do drop in, I personally recommend that you go to a nearby cave and set up your base inside of it. Of course, you do not have to go this route. You can just set one up outside, it's totally up to you. Your first order of business, though, is going to be grinding the required items for the mission. This will be 50 gunpowder, 25 epoxy, 30 cooked meat, and 10 basic fertilizer. After all that is complete, you will then most likely want to go ahead and farm up a hunting rifle for both yourself and any other players you're playing with. This is because this boss is substantially harder than any previous boss you've probably encountered in Icarus. If you don't have the exotic armor, then I'd recommend the best armor that you can actually craft no matter what that may be. If you can craft the tier 4 armor, even if it takes extra time, it's probably worth doing it. You'll most likely also want some kind of anti-poison pill or some way to actually get rid of poison. Whichever way you want to go about that is totally up to you. I just recommend it because the boss and his little babies that he spawned both have the ability to poison you, so it's just nice to be able to get rid of it. If you are alone, I'd also recommend that you bring two hunting rifles and two bows with full durability on them because even when you do this on normal difficulty, he has an extremely large health pool. You will also need approximately two to 300 bullets depending on how good your aim actually is. Now, once you have completed your preparations with things like your healing food, weapons, armor, maybe a sleeping bag and a basic structure for sleeping in, then go ahead and head on over to the actual mission objective. Upon arrival, you will want to deposit the required resources into the little canister. After that, you will have to defeat 10 baby scorpions, which is pretty easy to do. Then the boss battle will begin just moments later. Okay, now let's cover some of his moves so that you know exactly what to expect here. He has a few very important ones that you need to be aware of. The first is his smash. You'll see the boss kind of lift up his claws in the front of his body and then slam down and do extremely high damage on anything he hits. This can one-shot structures, this can one-shot you. So just make sure you do your best to avoid it by all means necessary. If this hits you, you are dead. Simple as that. All you need to do is simply run away as fast as possible in order to make sure you don't get hit by it whenever you see him doing the windup. Next, he will do a charge-like mechanic. He will lock onto you and then sprint in your direction like he's a freight train or something. If you get hit, there's a good chance you're going to die immediately. He tends to repeat this move multiple times as well before he switches to his next one. It's really not a lot to say, just get out of the way. Next is his underground phase. This part of the boss fight is kind of a bit tricky since you can't actually tell where he's at at any given moment. He will either stick his tail up behind you and try to sting you, or he'll try to come up out of the ground very quickly and do a quick kind of attack. There's not a whole lot you can do in this phase other than dodge, aside from the fact that you can hit him whenever he does expose himself, just make sure you don't get hit because that's way more important than getting maybe one or two extra shots on him. As you progress further into the fight, he will start spawning little babies. These will usually spawn after just about every move he does, especially in the underground phase. That means he'll do it with a slam, a sting, a charge, or bursting out of the ground. All of these are very deadly by themselves, but now you're going to be dealing with this small swarm of little baby scorpions every single time. This is where your bow comes in. Instead of destroying your gun's durability, you can use a bow with flint arrows or better, and it will usually one-shot those little babies. They spawn a lot, and if you have a friend with you, it's much easier to deal with them, but just make sure not to waste your gun's durability unless you have absolutely no other choice here. Now before we wrap up the video, a quick tip to help you out if you are struggling with him. You can use traps and hedgehogs and it will actually do a lot of damage. If you really had to, you could probably put down about 100 hedgehogs and make them run through them and he might even die from it. The idea here is if you're struggling, this will get you a lot of bonus damage, so just remember it is an option. After that, just keep shooting at him and doing as much damage as you can until he dies. Then congratulations, you've now defeated what is arguably one of the hardest bosses in Icarus and completed the mission. Then head back to your drop pod, blast off, and good job, you did it.
If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Icarus and other survival game content, consider subscribing to our channel. We make new videos all the time, usually every single week. We have two or three, sometimes more, and we really, really want to make sure that you guys enjoy it. So do feel free to leave some feedback down in the comments if you guys do have any feedback for us. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.